What is up everyone? This is DIY with Tag and I am Tag. Today I wanted to show you um, an existing project that I have done um, as far as enclosing in my garden. Um, we had quite a bit of trouble with uh, different pests of sorts, squirrels and, and uh, rabbits. I think in particular our, our trouble was the squirrel, so I made an enclosure as you can see. Um, fully around the garden um, with a roof and everything else. So I just wanted to show it to you real quick so you could see how, how I did it. And uh, if you're having the same trouble I was with the squirrels um, and the rabbits, it's a great way to keep those out. So hang tight, quick video on that, show you how we did it. All right, y'all, so here is a side view uh, of, the full, um, of the full garden enclosure that we did here. Um, so it's mostly um, just a few just a few supplies really so um, the chicken wire um, As you can see as we get up closer here chicken wire um, Wrapped around the whole thing and what we used is a lot of um, Chain link fencing material. So we got the chain link fence post um, 10 foot posts and what we would have did was, was buried those several feet into the ground uh, give them a nice strength there um, so I did those about every five feet um, on you know on each on both sides and then in the back we had an existing fence that we just tied it into there um, so we got the posts on each side I buried those about four feet they're ten foot posts we buried them about four feet each um, and then chicken wired around the whole thing um, for the for the walls um, attaching at the chain link fence in the back um, here in a sec, I'll show you the the roof which was a, a little different process, but that's how we got the sides um, using those 10 foot uh, fence posts um, And then the chicken wire wrapped around and zip and zip tied in place. So let me show you the roof next All right, so for the roofing of the structure um, what we did um, was used irrigation hose um, So I think I believe this was one inch um, circumference irrigation hose and we just ran that all the way across um, and then put the chicken wire on top um, and then um, we did a, 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 a 10 foot board here um, and then actually I think that was an 8 footer that we buried a couple feet um, in the middle as far as you know keeping the roof up high but what we did is just ran that irrigation hose you can see it all the way across um, put it inside the chain link fence post um, so it's in there pretty pretty deep um, and then ran it all the way across so you just want to measure you know overall how how wide of a garden you want to do um, and then put that irrigation hose in run it all the way across and that provides you your, your roofing um, that you can put the chicken wire then on top and then just zip tied that in place um, so this you know this obviously is a way to do a cost-effective um, garden enclosure. You certainly could get a lot fancier, a lot more expensive, um, but you know the the chain link fence posts, the irrigation tubing, and the chicken wire it, it is all you really need um, to make a nice enclosure for your garden, keep any of the pests out, um, and it's it's worked great um, to enclose your garden, uh, keep the pests out for you, and uh, let everything grow uh, without getting gnawed on by those animals. So. Again, um, all right, and the last bit I want to show you as far as uh, what we did with this garden enclosure is I did make a, a door here, um, just using you know some two by fours, um, measuring and cutting to, to the length and size of your door. Um, r really quite, quite an easy process as far as, like I said, measure height, width, and slap it together. Um, what we did as far as the hinging of the door was used a, used a chain link fence gate setup um, for the hinges of this door, just connecting to the to the fence post just like you would in a, a regular chain link fence gate, um, but then um, attaching it to the two by four door here. The reason I didn't just use a regular chain link fence gate is it's not tall enough. Um, you'd be ducking in and out which you certainly could do um, but I wanted a more of a full-length door there um, so that's what we used as far as that then um, chicken wire to just like the rest and so now we have um, ourselves a, a, a gate a door for going in and out of the garden enclosure um, so again 
cutting cutting your two by fours the length slapping them together with your screws and then using that uh, then using that chain link fence gate equipment to uh, have a hinge so your door opens and closes so there you go uh, take a little step back that's the garden that's the garden enclosure for you um, fairly fairly straightforward process like I said you can certainly get fancier with it and build a, a, a fancier one out of different materials but this was a very cost-effective way um, to get our garden garden enclosure done all right thanks for spending time again this is tag DIY with tag if you liked what you saw hit that uh, subscribe link in the window here and I look forward to seeing you for the next one